Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coffee and Pizza YouTube channel. Today is Monday the 8th of March. I'm by myself. Technically I'm not, because I got the DoorDash bag and the DoorDash mask. A couple other DoorDash bags back there. But yeah, I'm by myself. I just dropped Lisa off at work. It is um, 11.30 and that's when I'm scheduled to dash. So I'm gonna get going here. Um, here at the gas station getting gas. My tank's full. Got me my McDonald's iced coffee. I just went in and grabbed me a small little Red Bull. Really tired, tossing and turning all night for some reason last night, but so I need the energy. I know it's not healthy for you. I'm sorry, but I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here. I'm at the gas station. You can see right there is Nando's um, Japanese Grill right next to that is Chipotle and Outback so I'm gonna scoot on over there park in the parking lots and hopefully get some orders today all right guys wish me luck talk to y'all later bye hey guys I finally got my first order um, my phone went down so I had to restart it so I'm a little behind the eight ball but I got an order for the chop house which is right over here in Tanger outlets like we've said um, for seven dollars going only two miles so not a bad order it's a thirty three eight dollar um, food order so this should be $14, $15, I hope, or it's going to stay at seven, but let's, let's hope it's going to be about $14, $15. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys, I just got my second order here. This one's for Nagano Japanese Grill for only $6, but it's going right here in Tanger Outlets and Nagano is right behind me next to Chipotle. So quick, easy $6 here. I'm going to go grab it, deliver it to the customer. Hey guys, I just finally got my third order. It's been really, really dead here. Um, the DoorDash forums, um, I follow two on Facebook and both of them right now are talking about how slow it's been. So again, those drivers are all over America right now and they're saying just how slow it's been even for a Monday and Monday's usually slow anyway. But I just got an order now for Chipotle for $9. It's only going two, two and a half miles, something like that. So it's not too bad. So I'm going to go pick it up, deliver it, and come back. And hopefully it'll start picking up. All right, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm back here. I um, just got another order. for This is a Walmart order. I'm going for $16. Going about, five, I think, five miles. So not too bad. Again, Walmart, they load the car up for you anyway. So, And they do all the shopping. So easy $16, I hope. Talk to you all later. Okay, what's going on everybody? Just got another order finally. Um, this one's for Chipotle, which is right there for $9.50. So I'm gonna go pick it up and grab it. That last order, the Walmart order, um, ended up turning to be a $19 order. I think it was maybe $20. So I got a little extra on top of the $16.50, I think I said it was, but yeah. So that was pretty cool. But I'm gonna go pick up this um, Chipotle order and deliver it to the customer. All right, talk to y'all later. Hey guys, I am done for tonight, Monday the 8th. I'm gonna go pick up Lisa. It's about 20 minutes from her um, location where she works at and from where I'm at. I just did my last delivery, that Chipotle order. I think I said it was $9.50, I can't remember now. And it turned out to be $10 and the gentleman gave me a $5 cash tip, which was so nice, even though he was a Bengals fan, yeah. Anyway, but um, yeah, and it was really easy. It was right off this main street and it was a hotel. See, I'm still here. Hotel, and so it was obviously very easy. To, you know, it was room, blah, 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 and I just found it right away. All right, so keep watching, and I'll talk to everybody later. All right, bye. Hey guys, Scott and Lisa are here. Today's um, Tuesday the 9th of March. We're out here door dashing. Um, wish us luck. We're trying to get a goal today. So we might go all the way into the dinner rush until eight or nine, who knows. Um, me and Lisa, are, uh, Lisa's off today. So um, she's out here door dashing. She's off today and tomorrow. So um, tomorrow she's gonna hang out and chill at home with the dogs. Um, but yet yeah, we're out here today. We're gonna try to get a long one in today. We got a, we got a goal to make and that's what, our, that's what we're gonna try to get. Um, it should be good. We're pretty. I got me my um, fruit smoothie here. Lisa's got her iced coffee from uh, McDonald's. So it should be good today. Wish us luck. Hey guys, we've been logged in for 10 minutes. We turned down a crappy Chipotle $3 order 
and a Wendy's $4 order. And I'll be honest, we don't even know where Wendy's is around here. So, um, but we just got our first order. It's for Chipotle. It's for $9. So we're going to fly on over there and grab it. We are parked right next door. So it should be easy. It says it'll be ready in 10 minutes, but we're going to try to go get it a little early. But all right, guys, talk to you all later. Keep watching for updates, please. Hey everyone, so we just want to give you an update. We just got back delivering the first Chipotle order to a gentleman that was about how many? About six minutes away. Yeah. So now we're doing our second Chipotle order. It's for $5. It's just going to the Tanger Outlets, which is right next, next door basically from Chipotle. So uh, we'll keep you updated and uh hope y'all have a great day hey everyone we just got an order after what an hour yeah. of uh waiting for sesquito's pizza uh scott and i are heading towards it and we'll keep you posted hey everybody we got a walmart order for ten dollars it's only going 1.2 miles so that's really good and it's 35 items again we don't have to shop for walmart we just park and they load it up in the car we really don't even have to help them load up, but we do because we're nice people. So, yep. So we're going to go pick that up. We're here anyway. We parked at Walmart at the end of their their parking lot. So we're going to go grab it. Hey, guys. We just dropped off that last Walmart order. It was a, um, a retirement home. Um, we came back, parked right here back in Walmart. And um, within five minutes, we got another Walmart order. This is $13, and it's going just a couple miles down the road three four miles not not too bad so we're gonna pick it up and drop it off at the customer hey everyone so we just picked up another walmart order the previous one that we just did was right near my parents cemetery so we went and visit to see my parents and uh so we're now taking another walmart Head order to a customer and the ladies that are doing this are super friendly so uh it, it's really great as soon as she was doing another she was doing a customer and then she came right over and got our customer's order you know no questions asked so we'll keep you posted and i hope you all having a great day So uh, right now we are still with the last Walmart order. We are driving to the customer. I just wanted to put a tip out there for everyone who orders DoorDash. Please, please check your address on your uh, where your, the drop-off location is or where you're at. This is for people who are ordering from DoorDash, ordering food, ordering Walmart. Please always check the address that of your location because we ended up in Pittman Center, which is about 30 minutes from the Walmart. It's close to where we actually live. So the customer actually lives in Sevierville. Mind you, Pittman Center and Sevierville are about 30 minutes away from each other. She, For one, she didn't have a street address a physical address a mailing address on the DoorDash app I, I will insert a, I wish I could insert a picture but I cannot because it's con privacy and for the customer all it said was the street name so you're probably thinking well Lisa you know you should have thought of that you should have seen that but a lot of area where we are at have cabins and there's either a name or address to an office. We ended up at Pittman Center up, I guess, at their one of the little spaces they use for, I guess, entertainment. So, uh, so I was speaking with DoorDash. They said we're going to get extra compensation. They actually said to drop it off at the location we were at because of the fact that we followed the address to where we were, and they said drop it off and take a picture of it. Make sure it's in a safe location. Now we're actually driving back. We got 25 more minutes to the customer and uh, DoorDash is gonna compensate us a little extra for our troubles. But this is, I mean, this is what DoorDashers, you know, people think DoorDashers are complaining and whiny. This is one of the reasons. If your address is not correct or at least make sure, I mean, we can get to the street. 
make sure your city is correct because of the fact that if your city is not correct, well, the dasher ends up in another location. And also as customers, you can follow your dasher. So if you see that your dasher is going to another like location or can't, they can't seem to find their way, please text them or call them and let them know like, hey, why are you going out so far? I'm only 30, 20, 15 minutes up the road from the Walmart. This is very frustrating. We are very frustrated. We're very tired. This just kind of ruins our afternoon. So I just wanted to let you know and give you the update. Um, so we'll talk to y'all later if we make it out with this order. Bye. Hey guys, just a quick update on Lisa's little rant there. Um, well, um, we are on our way to the customer, which was um, which would have made this delivery to be an hour and a half. But DoorDash, Lisa contacted DoorDash and they were gonna con compensate us a little extra, which was a lot of extra, but it was just a little bit extra, $3.70. Then halfway to the customer, um, we got contacted again by DoorDash to tell us, basically take it right back to Walmart, which sadly, we were almost there. I mean, we we're gonna have to drive right past Walmart anyway to take it back to the customer. So they just told us, forget it, take it back to Walmart. And that's, you can see the the door, there's Walmart. So we're here um, waiting for them to come out so they can get this crap out of our car. Again, we're not mad at Walmart. So hopefully we'll get um, two or three more Walmart orders. Like I said, we're trying to get a goal. And this just, this was over an hour right now we're involved in um, time-wise. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just rambling. I don't even know what else to say. I'm so mad. And my steering wheel here, she took a beating because I got so mad I was punching it. Lisa was yelling, not at each other, just at the whole situation. Like I said, this would have turned into an hour and a half delivery from Walmart to the wrong address, then another 40 something minutes to the right address. So always check half. your city. Yeah, so it's a whole different city. city. I mean, I mean it, well, it was in this area, but it was a. Uh, a 40 minute difference yeah and, and again this walmart is 30 minutes so we're sitting here at walmart or um, a couple other dashes are next to us picking up we're waiting to drop off so get this crap there's milk and because of it's the customer's fault us the driver doordash driver is going to get the brunt of it yep and it's we going to give doordash a bad name we did get the full 13 dollars, and we're getting another three dollars and 70 cents on top of it so this is a $16 order. But if you think about it, oh, that's not bad. Good, guys. That's $16 for an hour. Because we literally, from the time we get there to come back to Walmart, eventually, it took an hour. And that's not that we just lost money on that. It and, just went right out the gas tank. And we don't have a happy customer. They don't get their food. Yep. And we who feel knows? Bad about. The food may get thrown away. That's... Yeah. All right. We're going to go here because somebody coming out. So Lisa's going to go grab them, tell them the situation. But all right. Talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, after that last Walmart order, that was over an hour and we had to take it back here. Me and Lisa kind of just parked at the end of the Walmart's parking lot, just kind of decompressed and chilled out. Um, took um, about 40 deep breaths each. Um, and then we got another Walmart order. This one's only going two miles for like, I think it was $16 or something like that, $12. Well, it's $12, but it's only going two miles, so it's not too bad. So we're gonna go pick it up and drop it off to the customer. Just please keep your fingers crossed that this person has the right address and it doesn't turn into another hour delivery. I think we'd probably both drop our, the car off the mountain. All right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Hey, everyone. It's Scott and I again. Scott's driving, obviously. Well, uh, we just got done one Walmart order. It took them a little longer than usual to get it together, I guess. They said they didn't have the order in the system and then they did find it so and the guy was so appreciative we got a $20 tip uh, tipping cash so and the ladies here at uh, Walmart have been super helpful and super awesome and uh, they've been great so we're back at Walmart and we're gonna do a order for nine dollars going uh, a few miles so it looks like my, this battery's dying on the phone, but 
uh, we're gonna do this water order and we'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, Scott's back. Um, just giving you guys an update. We are at IHOP right now. I'm doing a $9.50 order going uh, four miles up the road. Not too far, the only thing is I gotta do a U-turn right here in this busy parkway. It's starting to light up a little bit because it's um, 7.31 at night. But um, yeah, we said before we have a goal. Um, I mean, everybody's got bills and we have a bill that's due in a couple days and we're trying to get that marked today so we could pay it to um, relieve the stress, you know, so we're not, oh my God, oh my God, we gotta pay the bill. So that's what we're going for today. We're, um, there's a bill that we wanna pay. We wanna pay, it, of course, early like everybody else does. But um, so that's what we're trying to do today. Since uh, me and Lisa are both off, we're gonna try to do that um, DoorDash and um, paying the bill with the DoorDash money, not our regular job money. And we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, we had a cash out early um, today because I'm like, I needed gas and my charger broke. My car charger broke. So we had to run in cash out because we didn't have any cash on us. So I had to go buy a pink charger because my charger broke. Um, it fell on the floor and um, one of us stepped on it and got it all crappy and money just crushed it. So anyway, I'm rambling again. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> but all right, I'm waiting for Lisa to come out of IHOP and so we can deliver to the customer, guys. Talk hey, to you later. Hey, everyone. Just Head wanted to give you an update. Parkway. We just got an order for Buffalo Wild Wings for $9.50. So that will get us closer to the goal that we've been trying to reach all day. And it's only, I think, 4.2 miles or 2.4 miles. I'm not sure. Turn right on the parkway. Hopefully, uh, everything will work out we'll get a good tip and we'll uh keep you up po updated and posted on what's going on hey guys we are here this should be the last order we're going to do tonight um it's pretty late um it's applebee's for eight dollars it's a 33 dollar food order so hopefully this will be a little bit more than eight dollars um by the time we finish dropping this off um it should be after nine o'clock so that means uh, it's an extra dollar peak pay so anyway, here comes Lisa out um, with the food. So we're going to go deliver to the customer, guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, guys. Uh, me and Lisa are done today. Um, yep, we're done. Um, we did reach our goal that we wanted to. Um, so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we had a couple um, crappy orders, as in the customers were paying. Again, we ranted about the other one, um, the one that took an hour. But... Mm -hmm. It wasn't too bad. Um, Walmart, I'm telling you, I feel bad. I turned down probably 30, 40 Walmart orders before we did our first one. I think it was last Friday or last Thursday. And um, we did a couple Walmart orders, including the one that took an hour. But we still made $16 off that hour. So we did make some. But, um, yep, so uh, we're done. <laughs> we, did, we set our goal, which is awesome. It's, it's late. Um, but, again, we got the goal we wanted to get. I mean, yep. that's so nice so nice when you set out a goal and you um complete the goal yeah but we are done here uh we're gonna sign off um this will probably be on um the last two days which this video should be for the last two days um i yesterday alone and me and lisa today we made almost well we did with a cash tip we got today the 20 dollars cash tip we made 200 dollars, which is which is pretty good i didn't go out that long yesterday today today was quite a bit of time but hey we made money what can you do? We're going to sit at home anyway today. Like I said, me and Lisa are both off. So instead of just sitting home, watching TV, we went out, made some money, and paid a, a pretty pretty important bill. So we did it. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. All right. Have a good evening, everyone.